Yes. Hello everyone. Oh, welcome to Live Art Mini. Um, I'm Kim Neal Davis. I'm not sure if you guys know me or not, but I'm the retail and marketing manager here at Inside Out Studio. I'm usually the one hiding on the other side of the camera, but Steven is off today, so you guys are stuck with me. But I have artist Rebecca Reed here with me today. You want to say hi to everyone, Rebecca? Hi. And Rebecca, is there anyone that you want to kind of say hello to, give a shout out to? Yeah. Hello to my parents and my sisters for wishing me luck on this. Her parents and her sisters wishing her luck. Anyone else? No. Nope, just them. Okay. Yeah, that's great. Okay, so we're with Rebecca today and we're going to chat with her a little bit. Um, so Rebecca's a little bit of a fashion guru. So we've used some of that to talk about what inspires her to do things and what kind of things she makes. So um, let's start just by asking you a couple questions. What's your favorite part of coming to Inside Out? Coming here and doing artistic styling. That's what I call it art. Yeah, yeah. So just your art, artistic outlet that you get to have, right? Uh, and my friends. And all of your friends. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You have lots of friends here, don't you? Yeah, including you. Including me. Well, thank you. You're my friend too, Rebecca. Well, what kind of things do you like to make when you're here? Uh, basically clay and glass. Okay. Clay and glass. What about in, in watercolor. and watercolor, which is what we're going to be talking about today. So what have you been working on lately in the studio? What's Bas uh, basically anything that comes to mind. Anything that comes to mind. Yes. We'll be talking at the very end. We'll be looking at some things from her portfolio. One of the awesome things about Rebecca is that she constantly has ideas and drawings and things that she does to inspire her to make some things. So let's take a look at some of the things you've made recently though, Rebecca. Do you wanna talk about these first? Right. All right, I'll hold one up and you can hold the other. Okay. So these are uh, edge magnet things. They look great at the end, but they're a little too big for them. Okay, so she had first thought maybe we'll make these into earrings, but they were a little bit big, so we decided to make them into some magnets. But a lot of what Rebecca does is food inspired, which yeah. leads us to our next thing we're going to take a look at. What do we got here, Rebecca? That is a soap dish. It's in a the soap style dish. Of an avocado. In the style of an avocado. You like avocados? Yeah, I do like my guacamole. Like your guacamole. I love my guacamole too. Do you have a favorite kind of guacamole, favorite place to get it? At some Mexican. At place. Mexican restaurants. I love Chipotle's guacamole. It's one of my favorites. All right, and here's another piece that you just finished, I think like a week ago. It's pretty recent. You want to talk about this one? That is a fish dish. fish dish that I decided to go with the style of salmon. Yeah, fish dish and the style of salmon. That's a tongue twister, Rebecca. <laughs> that one's pretty cool. And here's another thing that we have of yours. What do we got here? That is the Amanda. Cool. So yeah, we'll give a shout out to Amanda. Amanda's not back in the studio yet, but we miss her being here. So Amanda, if you're watching, hello. And I will tell you guys, normally I'm the one that's up front watching for who's liking, who's commenting and all of that. Um, so if you're, if you're commenting, I'll try to catch it on my phone that I have here, but I might not. I'm going to take a peek real quick. Um, we have our friend Sarah saying hi to us and Rebecca. You want to say hi to Sarah? And Kathleen's watching too. She said she's working on a sweater right now. So Kathleen's another artist here. Hi, Kathleen. And um, I have also got, it looks like some of people that I know. My Aunt Betty's watching. Hi, Betty. And Karen Mackla. She's a preschool teacher for Colonial School who's pretty awesome. So thanks, guys, for tuning in. All right, so we talked about food, and we already told people you're a fashionista. So do you want to tell them what we are going to be working on today? The watercolors of fashion. Watercolors of fashion. So one of the interests that Rebecca has are for like Disney characters, Disney dresses. So we are going to kind of hop over to our live cam here in a second, and we're going to start that process. Um, before we do get started though, I want to um, say a special thank you to Symmetry Boutique and Gallery. Again, they are our sponsors for this entire year. So thank you so much to Sherry Armstead. She's been fantastic. Um, and let's 
hop on over and again bear with me guys I'm trying to, to learn this system as um, we're going over so we're gonna hop over here onto these cameras Rebecca you want to grab your seat over there if you want to move down to the very last spot and down here we're joined by Terry Hello. and by Melissa Hello. Hi, I'm Alyssa. We'll, we'll get some better shots of their, their faces here soon, but um, Terry, I'm going to call you out right now. <laughs> when we're doing watercolors, what's our first thing that we normally do? Well, first you pick out what your picture is going to be, and okay. then, like, I'm, I already traced mine, and Miss Kim is going to go ahead and trace her, so she's got her picture and her paper, and we're using the light box, and she's just going to outline it. Cool. So I did, I picked Mulan. Um, I tried to pick a little bit of a different princess to do. If you're like Rebecca, who's really awesome at drawing, she does her freehand sketches and you'll see hers here shortly. I'm not that talented, so I'm going to be using this light box and tracing. Um, if you guys remember from last week when Steven did tracing, um, with Tracy and Shannon if you don't have a light box you can also use just like a front window glass mm -hmm. things like that so I'm gonna use this light box and start tracing um, Terry while I'm doing this do you want to talk about who you chose as your princess? I chose uh, my princess was Tiana so I did her wedding dress I outlined I traced it with the light box and then I outlined it with a permanent marker, the color that I was going to make her dress, which was green and a yellow. And then after that, I took my pen, or eraser and erased the pencil marks. And then I was going to start with my watercolor. And if I don't know if you can see Melissa further down. Let me, let me adjust the camera just a little bit and we'll get them. I'm going to keep tracing while Terry can talk to you. Melissa, do you want to wave and say hi? We can see you now on camera. Camera. Right there. You want to say hi? Anyone you want to say hello to today, Melissa? Mom, Dad. Mom, Dad. Mom and Dad. Yeah, your mom, when she dropped you off, she said she was going to tune in and watch. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. So, uh, Melissa is doing Ariel in her wedding dress. So, she right now um, is doing the hair of Miss Ariel, which is red. Earlier, Melissa traced it and we outlined it with permanent marker and we raised it. And if you want to talk, Terry, just for one second, I know that we talked a little bit about this earlier. So the dress that um, Melissa chose initially was a wedding dress and we saw it in some pictures in white. But of course, when we're doing watercolor, we can't exactly right. do white. So so she's doing, she added a little pink for the top part and then the bottom is gonna have some white. It's just to show, besides, cause the paper is white. So you wouldn't really be able to tell it too much. Cool. All right, guys, I'm trying to trace quickly here. I don't know what's going back with so Rebecca, um, if you want to talk about what dress you chose and what inspired that decision, um, actually let me go grab something real quick. I want to show a couple things before we get started of some things that Rebecca did this morning. So we've got, I'm going to hold this one in front of the camera. Rebecca, do you want to tell everyone about this one? You can, yeah, you can stand or be seated, whatever works for you. So this one was Belle from Beauty and the Beast. Belle from Beauty and the Beast. Yeah. That one's gorgeous. We all love that yellow. And then we've got this one. We've got Anna from Frozen. Anna from Frozen. I like that teal green or that lime green color. What about you? Yeah. You like it? I'm looking on here too. We've got some other people that are watching us, guys. We've got Billy Gunther. Actually, Billy, I used to work with Billy. How are you? Um, Ian from over at the Fitness Center. You guys want to wave and say hi to Ian? And Michelle Barnes Davis. Does anyone dance with Michelle? Uh, Miss Rebecca did. Did you? Okay, you did. And then Fonzie's over in the corner. He's working on some stuff. So I'm sure he says hi to her as well. All right, and then now what? Here's a, a photo of what inspired her next one. And who is this, Rebecca? 
That is Elsa from Frozen. Elsa from Frozen, and that dress is gorgeous. I like that one. So here's this. You want to talk about what you did on it? Yes. This is basically like cherry sodium. But it's actually by me. That's right. So instead of like I'm doing and tracing, she takes all of her designs, takes a look at the photo, and then just draws freehand. So mm -hmm. hers have a really cool, unique yeah. style to them. I was going for the actual color of the actual dress. She was going for the actual color of the actual dress. Yes, I like that. That looks fantastic. Okay, and so then what are you working on now, Rebecca? Well, this is the dress of the Tree of the Castle from. Legend of Sleepy Hollow. Legend of Sleepy Hollow. Oh, I've got, yeah. Let me grab the original one, the photo that she took a look at. I didn't grab it before. Sorry, guys. So here is the inspiration for that. And so she has already drawn it with pencil, and then you chose to do pink marker, permanent marker to outline. Sherry, you have a... Our, Melissa, you have someone named Sherry who's watching you and says hello to you. Sherry? <laughs> yeah, Sherry. Do you know a Sherry? Um, she says hello. She must, she must be into fashion too. What do you think? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Let's see. Okay. So I just... So I just finished my tracing. I don't know if you guys can see. Again, I'm not as talented as Miss Rebecca, so I did not freehand mine. I just went ahead and traced. Let's take a look over here at Terry's to see where she's at. She started to put some color on. So again, like she said, she traced and then she went over with permanent marker. And now she's adding some color. Um, Terry, do you want to talk about the two different so, techniques that people can use? Yeah. For this one, we just use the watercolor paint out of the tube, and then I just poured out a little bit, and I did add white. So I added, um, mixed it first, then I added a little bit of water. And for Rebecca and Miss Kim, they are going to use the watercolor pencils. So these look, and again, I'm learning all kinds of things, guys. These look just like colored pencils, but they're watercolor. So Terry, you could probably give some more information, but basically you can color just like you're coloring in colored pencils, mm -hmm. and then you'll apply water, and it's going to give that watercolor effect. Yeah. Okay. okay. Well, Miss Rebecca, I'm going to let you get started on that. Whichever brush you want, whichever colors you want, and here's your water as well. And let me let me zoom out to these guys. So while they're working on that, I'm going to go ahead and grab permanent marker and start doing some outlining on mine. So guys, Rebecca, do you suggest doing uh, different colored markers if I've got different colors in my dresses, or should I do one color to outline it? Just as long as it turns out gorgeous. As long as it turns out gorgeous. Okay, I got so many decisions to make. No pressure, right? All of you guys are making this beautiful art, and I've got to try to make something as well. Melissa, while you're doing that, um, what's your favorite part of coming to Inside Out? What do you like about coming here? Making stuff. Making stuff, awesome. What's your favorite material to work with? What kind of art do you prefer to make? I really like making clay with Amanda Joy. <laughs> okay, he likes making clay with Amanda Joy. Really fun. Amanda's getting all the love today, guys. Yeah. <laughs> we miss her being here. We can't wait till she can come back. Hey. Amanda. Hey. Amanda Joy. Amanda Joy, yes. I hope she's, uh, if she's not able to watch right now, hopefully she'll get to check out this video when she gets a chance so she can hear all the love she's getting. Look at Tony's mask. Not on my. <laughs> Messed up. All right, Melissa, what you got going on over there? I see that you've got the hair done. Is it all the way done, or are you still working on that part? Um, 
My dungeon. Too much? A little bit. So you can take okay. to dry out your brush, rinse it out. And then dab it on the paper towel, dry that out. Guys, okay, so while they're working, I um I want to make sure we again say one more time a special thank yeah. you to Miss yeah. Sherry at Ooh, Symmetry and Boutique right and Gallery. Right they have been so gracious to be a sponsor of ours. So we're gonna that take one little be. second to watch a little commercial from her. Hi, it's Sherry from Symmetry Boutique and Gallery. Today I want to tell you a little bit about Hillborn Pottery. And this is our number one seller, has been since we introduced it in the store about five years ago. And um, this being wedding season, showers, things like that, the, the younger people love this, um, all of us love it, actually. Uh, we're stocking the three most popular uh, best sellers, and this is a chip and dip, and this is in the gray and white. It's got the little um, dip already attached it also this is um the black and white and there's white we do carry the vases in um, teal and white and the purple and also solid white those are great gifts for um a mom they seem to like those when you put a bouquet of flowers in them hope you come see us if you want to shop online, visit us at Symmetry Boutique.